Hello there, fellow humans. It's your boy, the Unusual Geek, here, and welcome back to Titanic Adventure Out of Time. Uh, when we left off, we fenced with Willy von Hederitz, and he related to us some stories and gave us the ring. And now we are here at the Grand Staircase, and we're going to talk to um, Leyland Sakem Trask. And, uh, my goal is to finish this game in two more parts. So this one, and then the finale. So let's waste no more time, let's just go. You again? Needing another reading, are you? <laughs> oh, you know me so well, Trask. I need you to do a reading of this ring. I see your friend. Willy von Hederditz. He is in very great danger. The ring. Yes, did, did you notice the Russian characters on the inside band? I did not. Willy has a hidden life. There's a girl, a, a pretty girl. Hederditz knows her. Show her the ring. She'll help you. Good luck. What's wrong? I visited with a very nice woman in second class, a Mrs. Hart. Won't sleep a wink at night, she says, because something dreadful is about to happen. She believes to call this ship unsinkable flies in the face of God. And such arrogance will be punished. Hmm. She should join the Bureau. Good night. Good night. Ah. You. Have you seen Georgia? I don't know where she is. Don't care for me much, do you? What makes you say that? There's much you don't know. Uh, let's discuss it uh, over a drink. Yeah, it's freezing out here. Uh, shall we, then? God, much better. Mm. A bartender, a whiskey and soda. Yes, much better <laughs> indeed. Now... Why was Georgia afraid of you tonight? Georgia? Afraid of me? <laughs> well, that would be a reaction at least. We no longer evoke emotion in each other. We're a husband and wife in name only. You said there's much I don't know. You may have heard I am in financial street. I've borrowed money from Andrew Conkling, money that he is now demanding I pay back. I've none to give. Poverty should remain the domain of the virtuous. I have no taste for it. Are you trying to tell me you need money? <laughs> I should tell you. <laughs> no, I shall fix things first. And without Georgia. Another drink? Uh, another whiskey for, um... Yes, and charge it to room C-73. I hope you don't mind if I do. Hmm? Now, you uh, want to know some secrets. Uh, thank you, bartender. I'll tell you one. George's diamond necklace. It's a fake. What? The one on her neck, leastways. I gave the real necklace to Sasha. It's in his cabin for safekeeping. When he gets to New York, he'll sell it. Quickly and quietly. For 20% commission. I'll pay off my debts to Conkling. Put Georgia away. Sail back to England free and clear. Put Georgia away? She's unstable, as you know, so I'm placing her in a sanatorium. Easy thing to do, given her emotional history. The law favors the husband in these matters. She can do nothing about it. God forbid the suffragettes really do win women the vote. They'll never know their place again. Why doesn't Sasha sell it for Georgia? Because I threatened to tell Scotland Yard about his Serbian aid society, and because Sasha's a greedy bastard. He'd betray his love for 20%. And Georgia thinks she's outsmarted. No, she's got a fake about her neck and doesn't know. Another? Ah, uh, not for me, Charles. Good night, then. You'll sleep well. The uh, whiskey and the sea are both smooth for a change. Ah. <sighs> Great thing about drunk people, they'll tell you anything. Aha!
Good evening. Third Officer Morrow here. I am sorry, but this is the officer's promenade. No passengers allowed. <coughs> May I visit the bridge? We aren't supposed to allow passengers on the bridge. Would you like something? Would you like these binoculars? Ah, my binoculars. Thank you. Borrowed them from Fleet earlier tonight. He's up in the crow's nest. Hope he has another pair with him. <laughs> oh, guess I left them somewhere. Thanks again. Come on, let me let me visit the bridge. Well, I suppose it's all right. Just don't touch. I promise. Good night, Officer Morrow. Good night. So, we're here in the wheelhouse. I don't actually understand the purpose of this part because I'm supposed to turn the wheel. Maybe it's to try and save the ship. I don't know, but here we go. Oh! <clears throat> I think you've seen enough. Seaman, check course. <laughs> <laughs> it's Seaman! <laughs> Now I remember why passengers aren't allowed on the bridge. <clears throat> I just bumped into it, I swear. It's not what you think. Ooh. It's a lovely lamp. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. I've never noticed that before. I saw it in another playthrough or trailer or something, <clears throat> and i I had to I had to try it out. We know all this now. We we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so. Willie is still alive for the moment. Catalitz's gal, the blonde, Clarice Limehouse. Classy. You think I got a chance with her? I don't know, Max. Yeah, well, if you see it, tell her she's wasting her time spooning with that crazy kraut kit. Me, Max, the styling Spruce Street Sharpie. I'd take care of her like a princess. A regular princess. Tell her, would you? Good night. Yeah, I'll relay the message, buddy. All right, let's go find her. I believe... B9, uh, D19. Yes? You want something? Well, hello, beautiful. Focus! <clears throat> Do you recognize this ring? It's Willie's ring. Willie, what's happened? Something bad, hasn't it? Something to Willie. He told me if I ever received this ring, I was to know that whoever gave it to me was a friend and to tell them about the notebook, that they should find it. What kind of notebook? Willie's hidden a notebook on board. That's all I know. And what about Willie? Is he hurt? <clears throat> he may be in danger. Oh. He told me jokes. Bad ones, but he made me laugh. Not like Mama's friends. Mama, she doesn't like Germans. Unless they've a title to their name. But I like Willie. A lot. May I have it? The ring? Yes, of course. Here it is. Thank you. I'll never forget this. Willie's in trouble. Please help him if you can. I will do what I must. Or I'll, I'll do what I can. 
Must, can, uh, I must do what I can. Yes, I'll leave it at that. Really, I find it the height of drudgery to track you about this ship. Wow! Smethals! Throw in some shade, my guy! I'm sorry? Your constant meanderings make it difficult for me to attend my other charges. Miss Pringle insists that you see her immediately in her cabin. You two are thicker than thieves, and Larson is probably what you're up to. <clears throat> Do go see Miss Pringle. My guy! Whew. Okay. Shit. Quickly, there's not much to... Willie Hadelitz is dead. D E D. Dead. Electrocuted in the Turkish bath. I heard one of the officers talking about this may not have been an accident. Apparently, someone wants that painting badly enough to kill for it. Do you have it? The painting was missing from the cargo hold. Not doing so well, are you? Someone must have taken the painting before you got there. Hadelitz was working for the Russians. Young Hadelitz, a Tsarist spy. It's beginning to become clear. Hadelitz had a notebook he took from Zeitel. A notebook? Zeitel's previous mission was aiding a band of Russian revolutionaries called Bolsheviks who want to overthrow the Tsar. The Germans would like nothing better than to see chaos in Russia. I'll bet that notebook's got names of Russian radicals. Such a list would be very important to the Okrana, the Russian secret police. With it, they'd root out the Bolshevik ringleaders and eliminate a threat to the Tsar, which would certainly help the rest of us. Did Zydel kill Haderlitz? Quite possibly. We need more information about the murder. What do I do now? If Haderlitz was murdered, you'll need protection. Here, this pen releases a single burst of knockout gas when... Find that notebook. It could be vitally important. Go investigate the situation at the Turkish bar. Stop Move. pointing at me. Gah! Alright. Uh, oh! Hello there. Smithles, what do you got Most for me? Most regrettable. Most regrettable indeed. <clears throat> the young German gentleman, dead. In the electric bath, quite unanticipated. He was alive. Most vocally, too. Just a few hours before, arguing with someone on B-deck. Who was the other person? The gentleman's voice was unfamiliar. What was the argument about? About a painting. He'd misplaced it. And the other gentleman wanted to know where it was. Is Halitz still in the electric bath? Yes, I believe Dr. Lochburn is waiting to move him, so as not to alarm the other passengers. Of it course. is, I must warn you, a most unpleasant sight. Yes, of course. Thank you, Smithles. Very good. This is most irregular. Most irregular indeed. Officer Pittman. What have you heard? Anything? Tell me. I know Haderlitz is dead. You knew him? Look. Don't breathe a word to anyone. What will you do? Do? Bloody well nothing. Not till New York. The rest of the passengers must not be alarmed. Ismay is going to raise hell when he hears. And I thought this would be an easy trip. Did anyone see anything? Talk to Smethos, his steward. Say the man came down here after using the squash courts. Mind if I look around? Be my guest. Mind you, it's not pretty. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
Thank you, Pittman. Oh, Willie. And many knots unraveled by the road. Rest well, my friend. Well, gentlemen, oh, they're gone. Okay. I had a joke. I was going to be like, yep, there's no mistaking it. He's dead, as you were. But nope, they just fucked off. <clears throat> All right, I gotta take this to Trask. He'll know what it means. To the Grand Staircase! Can you feel it? The air, it's changed. It's clammy, cold. Like the ice caves in the ice. But you're not here about climatology. What do you want? Tell me more about Willy von Hadowitz. I don't think his death was an accident. Duh. He has double-crossed the colonel. That may help you. Well, tell me something I don't know. Why do you think the ship's in danger? The Titanic was never christened. Very bad luck for a ship. They say that when building her, a worker was entombed in the hull. And though we've 2,000 on board, the Titanic is only half full. The world's wealthiest man, Henry Clay Frick, J.P. Morgan... The Vanderbilts canceled the trip. They know when to listen to their gut. The vibrations of the astral plane are quite strong. Whatever happens will be quite interesting. Yeah, you could say that again. Uh, I would like you to do a reading of something. Would you do a reading of this scrap of paper? Certainly. Hmm. A passage from the Rubiot. Many knots unravel could mean a rope. Complete the rest of the verse and you'll find your answer. Good luck. Good night. Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, I know another thing I need to do real quick. I don't know if he's there yet. I don't know if I'm even on the right side. Or the right deck. Oh, no, there he is. Hello. Just the end of the electric. The fuse box there. She said you we've had no time to check her wear in. Adex been complaining about the lights all night. We'll get her straightened right out. That is if I can find my screwdriver. Wager I forgot it. Darn now. Be right back. What did you say? Alright, anyway. you... Yes, that's right, you bastard. Boink. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright. So... Gotcha. Aha, got it. doing in my cabin I was looking for you, you. Must leave immediately you <clears throat> need to tend to your own affairs fortunately you've left my valuables undisturbed okay that takes care of that
Oh, hello, Jack. Christ almighty wonder. You have a face ache, ain't you? Room of the ship, poking your nose into everyone's business. <laughs> oh, face ache. <laughs> I'm looking for a clue. Just who do you take me for now? One of those laddie da millionaires up top. Jack Hacker keeps his word, honors his promises. When I saw you come in, I says to myself, they'll be wanting to know about him. The foreign gentleman, German I suspect, a remedy nervous type he was too. Give me a bob and told me to tell whoever asked to repeat a phrase word for word. You want to hear it now? Please. But still the vine her ancient ruby yields, and still a garden by the water blows. Yeah, that's it. Here, he wrote it down. Thank you, and goodbye. What's it mean anyway? Some rich man's game you play. You can have it. Just tell Conklin we want the money tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, money, money. Blah, 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 blah. To the smoking room. Any luck at the cards? With Riviera on board? Get real, Pally. Watch him. Or he'll pick your wallet, too. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not done with you. Is this your pack of old reds? Don't mind if I do. Smoke them if you got them, I always say. Gave a pack of these to the German kid early tonight. He's an odd one. He's While dead. He was docked in Queenstown. I saw him on top of one of the smokestacks. The last one. Right at the top. Who knows what he was up to? Looked like he was hiding some crazy crowd kid. Okay. I wonder what Smothers has to say right now. May I be of assistance? <sighs> I'm not sure what to do next. Miss Pringle may have an idea. She is quite opinionated. Her mm. room is F-34, that's F-deck, in the second class. Thank you, Smithles. Good night. Okay, Mr. Sassy Pants. Well done. Listen, I've discovered the only way into the smokestack. Through the engine room. Find that notebook. Helping the Tsar will help us too. Fancy meeting you. Snooping about the decks again? What fun. Oh, Henry, snooping. Really? Such dreadful taste. Reminds me of that chap Burns. That photographer who took pictures of the ship. You should look him up. He's on sea deck. He has such a lovely wife, too. I say it's late. Must goodbye. Okay, that was strange. What deck am I on? B deck? C deck? C. C. J.P. Morgan, he owns the White Star Line. He was to be on board. At the last moment, he took the cure in France instead. Why do you suppose? Has the ship sprung a leak? <laughs> I'll scare myself to death. Everyone knows the Titanic's unsinkable. Why, it's the Harrises. You know, the Broadway producer. My dear, I simply must run. Lovely chatting with you. Goodbye. Oh, I can skip the cutscenes? I didn't even know. How about that?
Yes, can I help you? I would like to check something. I would like to check in this necklace. Yes, indeed. All jewels go right in the safe. Thank you. That's all, then. Is it? Good night. Good night. Evening. I'm the lift attendant. And you'll not find one better at taking you where you want to go. Where to? Where to? Uh, I need directions. Can you help? Right, yeah, I know every nook and cranny. Uh, smoking room? Get off on a deck. Walk outside and head aft towards her stern into the aft grand deck. The smoking room doors are those closest to the ship's stern. May I take you somewhere? I'll stay here, thanks. Good night. There was no real purpose for clicking on him. Just I, I would feel remiss if I left out. I left him out. He's just a gem. <clears throat> All right. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I think I have all the important plot points. I know I was supposed to get Eric Burns. He's the photographer. He's supposed to show me the picture of Willie on the smokestack. But I think I missed that opportunity and I apologize. So let's fast travel. Half deck. She's still running rough. You're so clever last time, you cared to have a go again. My pleasure, I can fix it. Right. There's a gauge showing the turbine's power out. The needle's got to move into the green zone. I know. <laughs> Boom. You looking for this? Cheers, mate. interfered in my affairs for the last time. You are the one who stole the room. Prepare to die at the hands of Serbia. Oh, damn. Wait, what just happened? I lost. Did, what did he just piss off? <gasps> oh, no, wait, I put those in the safe. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, such a fool. I wonder if he respawns.
No, he doesn't. I think that notebook is for me. Please. Colonel Zeidel. I know exactly who you are. The agents have our secrets, yes? You want the notebook? Thank you for finding it. The village would have appreciated your effort. Cold, isn't it? I've maintained climate is the crucible of civilization. Culture blooms in the temperate. It is the tropic and arctic zones which breed barbarism. Russia, for instance. So Willie was working for the Russians. In that notebook are names of anti-Tsarist Russians. Revolutionaries living in exile. Germany supports these men. <laughs> they are called communists. We provide assistance. Small courtesies and, uh, wherever possible, financial encouragement. One of these men is moving to Krakow soon. Charming city, Krak. We urge Willi to befriend such types in Vienna. He kept a list of such men for us. Or oh, so I thought. He was a Russian agent who was going to turn those names over to the Okrana, the Russian secret service. And if the Russian police got their names? They would kill them. Secretly, of course, but kill them just the same. Think. With the revolutionaries all dead, the Tsar would be secure on his throne. That should not be allowed. Not when there are wars to be planned for. Now then, the notebook. What? Iceberg. They've run into an iceberg. The idiots. I will be taking that notebook now. <sighs> On second thought, I have something else for you. You can have this pen. What? See, my friend, we will all meet the devil, eventually. 